Here we have Arkham Express. When you start the software up, you have the ability to open a new model, open an existing model with your recent files, upgrade, or to upgrade additional modules within Arkham Express. To find out more about modules and Arkham Express, visit www.artcamexpress.com. In this demonstration, we will be taking a look at this example here, a bitmap image created of two colors. Just dragged this into Arkham Express. Once Arkham Express is open, the model is firmly in place and we have the original image height and width. But I'm going to adjust the image size and make it significantly bigger. I'm going to make it a width of 600 millimeters wide. So quite a big piece this will be cut from. So, now it's imported, I'm going to look at vectorizing this. So I'm going to look at the quality of my bitmap, and I'm going to open my bitmap to vector tool. Now if I had multiple colors, this is very likely from JPEGs, you would select the reduce color and you may find you have 256 colors. In this case we only have two so there's no need to reduce because if I just selected create vectors now close this button we will find that we have multiple vectors created for me. Now these are the vectors we're going to machine. So firstly I've selected the outlet I'm going to come up to this icon here, which is the group icon. I'm going to do it with fine fashion. I can also right click and select group, or I can use the shortcut key, which is control G. I've done this by mistake, so I can actually right click and ungroup vectors and do it again with missing this section here and I can group the vectors together. So now my texts are all grouped separately. Before I go ahead and machine these vectors I want to change this retro style text. So I'm going to select it and press delete. I'm then going to draw a circle somewhere in the middle close enough and I'm going to drop it there I'm going to right click and center it within the model. Now if it's not quite large enough you can press the T button to transform. You can actually scale this if you wanted to. I'm using shift and alt to preserve the ratio, the aspect of it, or you can use the slider bar or the width. Now to put the text on here I'm going to select this text tool here and I'm going to call it Vintage. I'm going to make my size 90 but first of all make sure it's selected and 90 and select Done. With this text and the shift key and this vector if I come to my wrap text around curve we can see it quite clearly places it around my curve very nicely. So I've placed it on my curve, I'm selecting OK and deleting that original vector. So this is the design side done. So now it's looking at machining it. So if I select everything and select the areas I don't want to machine, so the vintage, the outlet, and the outer circle. I can now come to toolpaths and look at my toolpaths. In Arkham Express we have our 2D toolpaths, our profiling, our area clearance, our V-bit carving, our drilling and our inlay. 
We also have our 3D toolpaths, which is our Create Machine Relief, and our Laser Toolpath. But in this case, I just want Area Clearance. The Area Clearance is also known as Pocketing. I want a Finish Depth, so I want it to cut to 5mm deep. Actually, I don't know what tool I want, so before I start this, I'm going to work out what tool I want by using the Measure tool. Let's just move the 2D area tool out of the way. Select one line and the next line, and it says 11 millimeters. Hopefully between here and here is 11 millimeters. Fantastic. But I may find some difficulty, maybe round about this area. So we've got four millimeters. So if I wanted to machine around here clearly, I would probably have to look at maybe a four or five millimeter tool so to do this, I'm going to select from my tool database, maybe the 6mm tool. And it can cut down the full depth. I'm going to set up my material to 25mm thick. So 25mm uh, an inch. So I'm going to calculate this. So it's going to machine all of those vectors for me. We can zoom in to take a look to see if it's got everywhere. I am slightly concerned that it may have missed certain areas out. But if we close this, expand our toolpath, right click and simulate my toolpath, we'll see exactly where it's got to. Now the simulation is an exact representation of what your model will look like as it comes off the machine. Now as we can see I'm slightly concerned because it does happen to have missed a lot of this on fashion, especially in the middle. So I'm going to go back and take a look at this again and see what I can do. Well, if it has done that, I have the option of I could profile around this if I wanted to, but it may still miss out that four. I could use a smaller tool by opening it, which may be a good solution, or I could do something slightly different. Um, I could offset the text and machine within that area itself. But in this case, what I'm actually going to do is open the toolpath back up, and I am going to remove that and add a smaller tool, and I'm going to recalculate to see what happens now. I'm hoping it gets closer in the fall. If you were to purchase a module, you can actually add more than one tool to this list. So if I delete the simulation, simulate the toolpath, the module you need for that to add multiple tools, so you could start with a 12mm, then a 6, then a 9, then a 3, would be the advanced 2D machining which would give you numerous options within Arcam Express. Now, as that's done to how I would like it, I am slightly concerned that I did notice that the S and the E were joined up. So, I'm going to come to Toolpaths, open my profiling tool, and I think I remember it being 1.6 millimeters or 1.7. So if I use a 1.5mm tool, just to cut round the edge, as we'll see here, and simulate that section, we'll see we have the area cut out and much cleaner text. I have two strategies left to finish this off. Firstly, I want some V-bit text. So Vintage and Outlet, if I select my V-bit text, I'm going to make it uh, four millimeters deep. The tool I'm going to use is going to be very small, a six millimeter, 90 degree bit tool, and I'm just going to calculate this. Now that's going to run a V bit all the way through it, and it will make it have a very nice finish, a V carved finish on the letters to them, so they're cut in. So 
very nice sharp corners within it so it's slightly different to the area clearance and the profiling toolpaths we've currently done to finalize this design to finish it off I have one thing left which is to cut it out again I select the profiling tool I'll go to the full depth and I'm going to use a 12 millimeter end mill tool so we are using a few too many tools within this but we can easily go back and change this or you can do it to suit you now I'm just going to simulate by right clicking this toolpath and we can see the final cutout piece you can see it going round and round so we, here we have our vintage outlet of fine fashion all created using ArtCam Express to save the toolpaths we come up to toolpaths right click save the toolpaths as and then we can send all of them over adjust the order because we probably want the 12 millimeter to be the last toolpath and we can choose any of our machines from our list to where we want.